Hello guys, how you doing? Today we are going to be starting up Control, an action adventure game from Remedy Entertainment that recently released a next gen upgrade for the game, which is what we're going to be taking a look at today. Remedy Entertainment has received a lot of praise over the years for their work on titles such as Quantum Break and Alan Wake, and Control seems to follow in their footsteps. I've yet to try either of these games, but it seems to hit the exact video game niche that I really enjoy playing. That's AAA single player action adventure games that also have their own little flair about them. So to keep it brief, we're going to be starting up the walkthrough for Control. I hope you will enjoy it and look forward to hearing about your thoughts and comments in the comments section below. So with that out of the way, let's jump in and let's check it out. Fair warning. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room... And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, oh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Anyone here? Okay, so where are we? Federal Bureau of Control in America. Oh, collectibles, okay. Nice, nice. Like automatic doors. Do we have a gun yet? No. Doesn't look like we have anything on us. Here we go. Loadouts, assets, mission, collectibles. Okay. Certain objects that aren't allowed. You do not have any missions, assets, loadouts. Okay. Loadouts is interesting. Look at this. Personal mods and weapon mods. Wow. I didn't expect too much customization in this game, to be honest. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Oh, that was another collectible? Okay. Bloody hell, they're everywhere. Oh, we can run. That's good. Good to know. Is 
there anything we missed here? No, just paintings. Okay. Moving on. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. She was looking for them. Seems quite eerie that no one's... No one's here though. Security order? Wait, what happened here? This place actually looks deserted. Hello? Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they die. Element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound and you fall out. Wait, We've done what? enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Yeah, that guy was super weird. Oh, isn't this where we were before? No. Oh, it's somewhere else, actually. It just looks the same. Yeah, that janitor, I don't know, he was on something. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? So, I mean, as far as I know, she does get, like, superpowers or something. And you can use, like, different abilities and things like that. I'm not 100% sure if she has them already, if she's born with them or she receives them. That's something we're probably going to have to find out. It's definitely given a really strange vibe, though. Control. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Okay, so it seems like I might have to unlock that first. That's also locked. <sighs> Investigate the noise. Okay. Collectibles, thank you. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Wait, who's she talking to? She have like a voice in her head. And there goes the poster. 
objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Oh, we can jump? Nice. <laughs> melee? Oh, cool. Wait, what is that melee attack? bad it feels pretty pretty responsive as well it's nice mm -hmm. oh look at that the ammo regenerates over time also oh, it's more like a like an energy weapon no oh, there you go the service weapon regenerates ammunition automatically when not in use good to know Oh wow, gotta get... Gotta get used to the sensitivity here. Wow, her melee attack's really strong. It's definitely got some force behind it. Bloody hell. What's this stuff on the ground though? Is it like health? Because it's the same color as my health down the bottom left. Maybe... Maybe I can pick it up. If I lose some health, maybe. Enemies drop health elements? Yeah, when damage, collect health elements. Okay, makes sense. spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy happy to be here things have quieted down outside is it safe to go oh bloody hell that's super creepy <gasps> you can't let this happen you can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You. Oh, thank you. That was. horror. Hang on one second. Okay, we're good. Enemies drop health. Yeah, we know that already. That's pretty practical, actually. You can always just pick up some health then. 
Oh, what happens to their bodies, though? So we still can't go in there. We can go in here now, though. I think... Yeah, I think that's the only room that opened up. What does it say? Proceed further into the bureau. Okay. Go back out the way we came. Oh, here we go. We got a map. Oh, the map is also... It updates itself in real time. And it tells me exactly where I have to go. Wow, that's really practical. Oh, whoa. Okay, so we have two ways we can go here. Let's click this, because why not? Shelter. I don't think this is the correct direction. No, it's not. Oh, if we don't go... Is that going to lock us in? Let's run in real quick. Personal mod, health recovery. Wow, that sounds pretty interesting. So missions, collectibles, loadout, personal mods, one of 24. Hang on. Health recovery per element pickup, plus 20. Why not? One of three. The other two seem to be locked for now. We only got one weapon. And we have zero mods. Okay. That's pretty cool that you can just run around and find them yourself and just collect them. And it also seems like this area that we're in, it's it's really not restricting where we can go and what we can look at, but we can literally just go anywhere. Or so Reminder, it seems. If you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for an altered item or Okay. Carry the altered item or Enough exploring. Uh, we have to go through here. Go to our to our quest objective. Central executive. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Oh, we can... we could probably go down, can't we? Oh, whoa! Gonna take our time here, I think. Hang on. It's probably gonna be really important to use the to use the environment to our, to our benefit here. Oh, here we go. Help me fix it. Oh, 
Holy shit. You did it. We did it. Hello. Can you hear me? Are you with us? With the ah, bureau. it's a checkpoint. Are you still sane? I get it. So this is a checkpoint and we can also restore our health back to full. Okay, good to know. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Pushed the hiss out. Cleanse the his corrupted agent. I think maybe over there. Um, it also seems like she has a split personality. Like she keeps communicating with someone in her brain. Ripping it out rips them apart. Wow, okay. Jesse, over here. We need Good to tonight. Plan, Hang on, before we go speak to the Pope, there could be another unlock in here like before. Like we got a different mod. Maybe we'll find something else in here. Well, it doesn't look like it. 
Unfortunate. Okay. So let's go speak to the Pope. Wait, where'd she go? Oh, over here. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof, this is already it, more than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mailroom. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, okay. Emily. Thanks, mate. So that was mission one. Well, that was a pretty short mission one. If I do say so myself. Oh, we gotta get all the way over there. So did they say we have to go back to the mail room? Enter the communications department to find the hotline. Oh, we can literally... Oh, no, we don't want to actually keep... We don't want to go up there. We want to stay down here. Can we go through here? Oh, we can. It's unlocked now. Okay. Undefined reading. 
Oh, it's a personal mod. Nice. So what's this one? Energy plus six percent. Uh yeah, let's do that actually. A little bit more energy. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, we can put oh we have one weapon mod. Damage while low on health plus 37 percent. I like it. And assets. Okay, they're just like collectibles, sort of? Not really, because collectibles is there. Materials, hidden trend, undefined reading. Huh, okay. There it is again. A welcome message. He does not look like a friend. Oh, we can shoot through that? Okay, good to know. Oh wow, it doesn't actually give you that much health back, does it? We can go to the right here. However, that doesn't look very inviting, does it? <laughs> but I'm just curious. Oh, whoa, okay. Let's not do that. Overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. With you on that. Okay. We're doing not too bad. Pretty much got full health. We do now. There are some open doors over here. This isn't exactly where we have to go. But I can imagine there's going to be a lot of different collectibles and things lying around. Oh, like this for example. Shatter projectile boost. Hang on a one second, what is this? Headshot damage plus 43. Oh, baby, I'll take that one. What about rarity and type? Wow, the customization is really surprising me in this game. Okay. We're definitely still headed in the right direction though. Dead letters. Can I duck? Can I crouch? Oh, I can. That's that's good actually. Okay, so I can. Crouch down. Good to know. There's like a noise that happens every now and then, and I think that's the sound of someone coming alive. Wow, half health already. Personal mod, energy boost. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> it's 
stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. All right, let's, uh, let's get rid of this hiss now. Okay, so yeah, here we go. Communications. Did anything change in here after doing that? Not really. And over here, that one's locked. So there's not really much more we can do here. As far as I can tell, we just have to keep going through there. Communications. We could go up the stairs. Probably right to go up the stairs. Let's take a look in here first. Nothing. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, so look, this isn't the right direction, but at least we found some some reading material. <laughs> Whatever that means. Okay, so I'm guessing we can't go through there. An object of power. Looks like the hiss have latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. We need to cleanse it? Alright. Mission updated. I'm down for it. Wait, how do we cleanse it? Do we just gotta get close enough, maybe? Ammo efficiency. Nice, nice. I think I like my headshots a little bit more though. So do we just have to get close enough to it maybe? The problem is... Oh, we can probably go up here. Because this seems like it might be some sort of side mission here. So, yeah, I guess we just run over to it and shut it down. to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? Oh, what the hell? I'm Where are we? their director. I'm no one's director. Oh, that's cool. We can like break stuff. I'm not sure if this is what we were meant to do, though. Use launch to complete the astral plane challenge. Okay. 
Does it matter how long we hold this? I don't think it does. Oh, there we go. You can actually climb up there, bloody hell. Oh, give me that headshot. That'll do. Need to get those headshots going on. We got that extra... Extra nice weapon mod. So we can... Oh man, it's sort of hard to aim though, hang on. Let's get in a little bit closer. Okay, we're good. Oh true, we could have thrown stuff at these people. Oh, it doesn't matter, we managed to do it anyway. Obtain the launch ability. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. I mean, you did get it, but I think we're about to get... We're about to get infiltrated here. Oh my god, that does damage. I'm down, that does so much damage. Oh, but look up the top. I think that's like a... Yeah, that's like a power, a power thing. And I think there's going to be a little bit of a cooldown on it. Yeah, we have to wait a little bit for it to recharge. Okay. I think we've done everything we need to here, though. It has been cleansed. Oh, yeah, true. And this opened up now as well. Oh, I think... I also think that's where we're meant to go. Hang on, let's check this door first. Seems like another one of these, these vaults, these shelters. Health boost. Nice. The question is... So ammo cost per shot minus exclusive to shatter. So right now we are using energy boost. Oh, hang on. We can find a lot of these and we can deconstruct them. So I have one that has 5% and I have one that has 6%. Oh. Oh. Health recovery per element pickup plus twenty percent. I think I'm happy with this energy plus six percent right now. I'm not hundred percent sure if ele energy is referring to me picking things up. Like, see my energy up up the top there in the middle. That might be energy, or it could have something to do with my gun. I'm not Emily sure. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. The mail room, yeah, true. Let's, uh, let's have a look around for some collectibles, though. Oh, we got to wait a second for it to recharge. Okay, we're good. Is there anything here? Oh, here we go. Undefined reading again. Whoa, 
big open area. Do a little bit of exploring here, because you never know how how many mods and different things we could find towards the start of the game here. Make our life a little bit easier. I think that's everything there. We can't go in there yet. Let's double check the map. Oh, we do need to get in there somewhere though, it's somehow. According to our map... Yeah, we have to get in here. Locked. Maybe there's a key nearby. Oh, okay. Thanks for the hint. Let's check all these rooms first. Since they're open anyway. Oh, look at this. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the key. This must open the door. And claim this control point, why not? So let's double check the second the second toilet here, just in case there's, there's something in here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So in we go. Oh, so everything that says clearance level one, we have access now. Nice. They can fly now. Great. Are you kidding? Oh, it's like a boss. Look at this. Oh my god, are you kidding? That's crazy. Oh, we need to recharge. We're about to get swarmed. Grab some health. Nice. I don't think he died though. I like have I don't a feeling he'll be back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too, darling. Let's me too. Focused. The hotline should be past the mail room. Oh, all the way over there, okay. So it says we have to go to the right. Right over that way? No, straight ahead. Yeah, but I think we have to go up the stairs first. Wow, there's so many different, like the areas are so big. And there could be so many different things hidden around. Let's take a brief look over this side. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. All right, take this down. The situation has, got him. has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most... I just want to double check what this undefined reading always is. I don't know. Not sure, not sure. We're expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. The hotline can't be far now. Oh, 
Oh, sweet. Another one of these. House memory. Okay. I find those a lot more often than I thought you would. Oh, here we go. Hotline chamber. Where are we going, actually? Oh! All the way down a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road on the run under the radar this feels like all of them like something recognized from a dream interesting i click i like pulled it down three times because the sign that was there said the law of threes so i thought that was the only reasonable explanation I have no idea where we ended up. Some sort of motel. Traverse the Ocean View Motel. Oh, unmapped area. Okay. Interesting. We don't have any powers anymore either. Alright, so the thing said Law of Three. So let's, let's flick this one more time. That definitely made a sound. Key has a black pyramid on it. Black pyramid? There was a door over here that we couldn't get in. Oh, the janitor. Wait, over this way, I think? Yeah, here we go. What happens if we go out now? Nothing. All right, rules of three. Let's uh, let's click it two more times. Mission updated. Pick up the hotline. Oh, Astral Plane Challenge. Cool. These ones are normally pretty straightforward, what you have to do. It's more like a, a combat scenario. Oh, but this one? Will aid contact extra dimensional entities. Oh, whoa, get away from me. What is that? Alright, I have to like distract it and then run away. Seems like that is what we have to do. I really like the uh, the traversal. It seems really it fluid. Is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. 
These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Huh, what is that? What People is Trench? react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. I have, like, half the time I have no idea what this chick is talking about. What is Trench? We've definitely got a ton of collectibles now. We just got an achievement for unlocking 40 collectibles. Seems pretty crazy. I wonder how we can unlock a few more slots for these weapons and personal mods. Probably have to get a little bit further into the into the campaign before we can do that. So we need to go to the boardroom. Okay, so we chuck a left here. Oh! Oh wait, these are good guys now. True. something there. I'll be taking that. Oh, what's that? Oh, here we go. Another another collectible. Oh, not collectible. Sorry, another item. Health recovery mod. We can, we can disenchant mods, can't we? Isn't that like a thing we can do? Health recovery? Yeah, we can deconstruct them if we want. And we can un... We can upgrade an existing one. Unlock by upgrading. Don't really know how to do that yet, though. Huh. Might have to take a little bit more of an in-depth look at that at a uh, at a different time. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss. I... Sorry, you may. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation you are doing phenomenally well and all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you i mean i would love to run some tests on you if you agree that is we could find out something that would help us tests i don't know she might find out about you but i wouldn't mind understanding more myself okay if you think it will help Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override.
Wow, some points in this game are really creepy. Upgrade and unlock new abilities from the nearest control point? Oh, wow. Okay, hang on. I think there's a collectible next to her. Oh, one second. There we go, we got it. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Singing? Where's the hope is asked us to like it's coming from the elevator. Alright, so this is a control point, right? And we have abilities? Wait, what's an astral contract? Weapon form. Oh, look, required materials. Uh, for, so we've nearly done that. Maybe we can upgrade it then? I don't know. Oh, look at this. Oh, we need these different things that we've been collecting to create or upgrade a mod, I think, maybe? Killed. So what are these abilities that we just acquired? Energy, health, melee damage, launch damage. I think you can never go wrong with health, right? And we, we how many did we get? We got four. And you can see these cost two down here. Okay. Launch grenades and rockets back at the Emily, uh, enemy. Launch basic enemies when the health is low. Wow. Hold and launch up to three objects. Wow, that seems pretty crazy. All right, we'll go for our health for now. Okay, we got three more. I don't really care too much for melee. I think the energy would be nice. And this one as well. Additional weapon form slot. Ah, so the more points we use, the more slots we unlock as well. Okay, now everything's starting to make sense. And we can upgrade these with materials. So we can either upgrade mods or our weapon. Ah, uh, here you go. Construct a random personal mod. They're all construct a random personal mod, so we don't know what the outcome is going to be. And this is a random weapon mod. Okay, interesting. I mean, for now, I think I'm going to wait till I can upgrade this, the construct shatter. And we need a little bit more, a few more materials before we can do that. So until that time, I think we're going to wait. Oh, here we go. This is, these are certain contracts, I guess, that we can fulfill. And then we, then we get a specific reward for it. Interesting. And change our outfit. Okay. Uh, for now, I think we're... Oh, here we go. We got another, another mod here. Oh, it's a different weapon form. Oh, but we don't have any other weapon forms yet, I don't think. Oh, see down here how it says exclusive to shatter? I think the first weapon we have is this one, and maybe the second one will be like a shatter form. Like this is a grip form, this one's going to be a shatter form, maybe? I don't know. Because I don't understand what else was, would be used for this second second thing here. Shatter projectile boost. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I think this is where we're going to stop here, everyone. The episode, the first episode always goes a little bit longer. I think it's nice to have the first episode go a little bit longer. It's more of an introductory thing uh, but yeah thanks for watching guys we're going to continue on from here in the next episode we're going to continue on on the main mission it doesn't really seem like there's many side quests or, or things you can do on the side here i mean you can go exploring on your own accord but i feel like the only thing you really need to do in this game is just follow the main quest line because it's pretty much just trying to tell you a story and you can just unlock different things in the process so that's what we're going to be doing thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all in the next episode have a good day